welcome back guys so in this video let us see how to unlock the bootloader flash the twrp recovery and a custom rom on our moto g 5g this is a new updated method so let's get started so we will need our computer so we need to install adb installer so you can go to this website and install the latest zip file and then extract it and uh, install the application and after you do that you will have a adb folder under the c drive and it will have all the necessary files and for some reason if you get an installation error you just need to create a desktop a folder named desktop under the username and just create a desktop and you can then successfully install the adb And we also need the Motorola drivers, so this is going to help us in running the fastboot commands. So let's install the Motorola drivers. And finally, we need the TWRP recovery. So we need to download two files. One is the image file.img, and another one is an installer installer zip file. So find out the latest versions. For now, it is this version, and download both the files in the image file and the installer zip. Now we need to copy the the twrp the image file and copy to the adb folder so do that and now we will download the official have a quiz so you can download the g apps version that uh, also the vanilla version which does not include the g apps and uh, this method can, can be used for flashing any other custom rom so this is based on android 11 but you can also flash android 12 roms if you want and if it is your first time you will also need the copy partitions file so visit this link and we will download the copy partitions this is zip file and it is a google drive link so you can just directly download it so this is very uh, necessary if you are installing it for the first time and also if you are flashing the vanilla so vanilla zip we can go for the g apps so nick g apps and for android 12 roms you we only have nick g apps for now and if you are flashing the android 11 you can also download the open g apps so this is only if you are going for the vanilla rom and you can choose between the different versions the nano or pico uh, don't go any higher because you can get uh, the insufficient space error so now on our phone just uh, we need to enable the developer options so by the way i already have my bootloader unlocked um, but i'm just showing you these steps that you need to do make sure your oem unlocking is enabled and also the usb debugging is enabled so this is very uh, necessary step and now we need to open the adb folder and right click and if you, may, you can choose open in terminal and here we will run the commands so the first command will be this adb devices this will invoke this uh, dialog box on your phone to just allow the usb debugging so just tick that and allow now on our pc we will run the command adb reboot bootloader and this will boot our phone into the bootloader mode so make sure you have all your data backed up before that now we will unlock our bootloader so if you have already unlocked your bootloader you can skip ahead so we're going to run this command so copy this uh, oem get unlock data and we will paste it i'm not going to run it because i already have my bootloader unlock and once you run it you will get the output like this just remove all the bootloader data and we will we will just use the numbers and uh, um, the digits and you can just paste that digits into this uh, section and once you click on can my device be unlocked um, you will receive a code on your email address so just visit this link and follow the instructions you will get a link something like this and we need to copy the unlock code so and we will run uh, this command to unlock the bootloader in the terminal we will run 
फास्ट फूड ओ एम अनलॉक एंड स्पेस एंड वी आर गोइंग टू इंटर द कोड दैट वी कॉपीड फ्रॉम द ई मेल एड्रेस एंड वंस यू हिट एंटर यू विल सी अ न्यू ऑप्शन ऑन योर फोन सो यू नीड टू यूज़ दी वॉल्यूम बटन टू सेलेक्ट अनलॉक दी बूट लोडर and then you can uh, confirm it by pressing the power button to unlock the bootloader once you do that you will see the confirm the confirmation on the screen and now we can go ahead and boot into the twrp recovery so run this command fast boot boot and then we can just drag and drop the the recovery that we copied in the adb folder just uh, drag and drop it and then you can hit enter and you will see your phone is now rebooting into the twrp recovery now the first thing we will do is backup our efs and persist so you will see this error but just go ahead and select efs and persist then you can select storage we need an external otg or a external sd card so make sure you have that so i'm going to select my sd card or if you have an otg you can select otg and then just swipe to continue and then we can just swipe to backup and it will start the backup process you cannot use your internal storage to make sure you have the external sd card or an otg pen drive now we will flash the copy partition zip and make sure you are on slot a right now so i have copied all the files the rom file the gapps and the copy partition zip into the sd card you can do that right now as well and just flash it in the copy partitions first you will most probably be on slot a so just for a caution you can check that and uh, even in twrp your phone is recognizable in the computer so you can send files right now as well if you have an sd card but if you are using an otg otg pen drive you can you need to move all the havoc file also the twrp installer zip into the uh, otg pen drive or the sd card so do that uh, beforehand So this is going to take a while. So now it's done. So now we can proceed with installing the ROM file. So I have the Havoc file here. So it has the gapps included. So I'm just going to flash it. And this is also going to take a lot of time. now it is done and now we need to flash the twrp installer zip so just locate the file the installer zip and flash it it's going to flash it on the both the slot the slot a and the slot b now we can go on to reboot and then select recovery previously we need to boot it but now we can just simply boot into the recovery so this is new updated step that uh, was added later so now your phone is going to reboot into the recovery and if for some reason your touch does not work you can uh, run this command in the adb shell and uh, you might find your touch working again So now we will see you can see we are in slot B. You do not need to check this slot. You can just go ahead and flash the Z apps if you want to. I'm not going to flash anything because I already have the Z apps included. So you can flash Z apps or Magisk, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just showing it. And we can just reboot to bootloader. Do not reboot to system, reboot to bootloader first. And here we will need to run some commands in the terminal. So run this command fastboot space hyphen w. And this is going to erase the all the user data. And now we can restart, uh, like start our device in the Havoc OS. 
and then a sailboat is going to take some time so finally you will see the havoc os loading screen i fast forwarded it but it's going to take a lot of time so this is how you can flash the custom rom and you will see this usb debugging option just allow it and set it up as normal so that was how you can flash any custom rom including the newer android 12 based custom roms on uh, your moto g 5g and to update a certain rom you can just uh, uh, boot to recovery flash the rom plus the installer and then reboot to recovery again then flash the magisk or g apps and then you can directly reboot to system i hope you like this video like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one